social. Our connection to other people is a critical component of remaining resilient over the course of life. Even if you have just one close relationship in your life, you are significantly more likely to be able to overcome challenges and setbacks than if you're in it alone. Building and maintaining relationships is tough. These skills can help you learn how to get close and stay close to people you care about. The month of March is really an opportunity to build back grit and resiliency. We've actually made it a campaign where not only is there messaging every day, there's also the deliberate intent for everyone to take a knee, pause, take some leave, take some weekends off, and really start to get back into that space that we all need to be in. And if we don't do that deliberately, we really are letting down ourselves, our teammates, but also our patients. I couldn't agree more, sir, that our team, Team Bamsey, uh, you know, has, has really been working extremely hard. Uh, our Optempo as an organization uh, has pushed really hard the past, you know, 18 months that I've been here. And as we've gone through several uh, COVID-19 uh, spikes, surges, uh, our teams answered the call for the community and for the Department of Defense uh, to support mission requirements not only here in San Antonio and at, at Brook Army Medical Center, uh, but worldwide uh, and supporting missions across the United States and, and other places. And so I think it's extremely important that uh, you know, uh, you've provided the guidance of taking the whole month of March and focusing on rebuilding some of that grit and resiliency uh, and encouraging our leaders at Echelon uh, to allow some time off uh, you know, for all of their team, uh, you know, using the appropriate rules of engagement for Army, for Air Force, for GS employees and contractors, of course, uh, but also doing some activities that can help be, rebuild that resiliency. Our uh, public affairs team, you know, I published a calendar in conjunction with some of our uh, staff to put together daily activities uh, that I highly encourage leaders at Echelon to get your people to do. Uh, and, and encourage them to do those activities, but more importantly, maybe do some act, after action reviews to kind of discuss, you know, what it is they did, what they got out of it, uh, and so it could benefit the group not just the individual. And then leaders, I encourage you to come up with some ways to help build team camaraderie. Do some activities that strengthen your team and also rebuild some resiliency. We've also uh, sort of taken other opportunities just to say thank you. Uh, so the first day of March and the last day of March, uh, both in the morning and the evening change of shift, really the command team all stood up there and really just sort of said thank you. Uh, gave everyone a clap, a little bit of music was played just to say we, we know how important you are, but we also know this really are challenging times and we really do appreciate that grit and resiliency, especially when you look at the global dynamics. COVID is clearly not done. MHS Genesis continues to roll around, although it's going great, uh, we still are getting into that right space. And then we can look at the European space and understand that there's, con there, there's ongoing challenges from a military standpoint that we have to pay attention to. Yep. And so I, I think those have been beneficial, uh, an opportunity for you know, several leaders at the executive level you know, uh, you know, meeting some of our team as they come into work for the day uh, and also, you know, saying, you know, good evening or, uh, you know, thank you for what you did today on your shift. I, I've gotten positive feedback from some of our employees that they really appreciated that. And so I encourage, you know, other leaders uh, at Echelon at the department and section level, you know, find ways to do that and show appreciation for your team. Yeah, and really just pay attention to our internet and then our other social media platforms because we really are putting a lot of information out there. Uh, the chaplains have a program coming up. We have another thank you event coming up. Uh, there's lots of areas that you can engage, but really from our standpoint, we think that's it's that first line supervisor. So to get out there, build those relationships, we're gonna have folks over to my house uh, one of these weekends just to sort of sit down, break bread, and just say thank you because because we, we just, we're all working really hard uh, and, and that opportunity to say thank you is so incredibly important and really be able to take a knee. Most importantly, thank everybody on Team Bamsey for what you do every day. You truly are appreciated and everyone is extremely important to the success of our mission. Yeah, everything you do truly is relevant. We really do appreciate what you do. We, we, we at our level don't say this enough, uh, but we, we're thrilled to be here each and every day. Uh, we love to come to work because it's people like you uh, that make us successful, so thank you.